Try to see if you see me. Don't. Don't stink at my sweat, I will see you. Right. So we need to be a little more. Hey, Shalawam, 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 Shalawam. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalawam. Shalawam. It's, you know, the GMS Italia, and we are out here today to teach again. You know, we couldn't, we couldn't meet up with the other brother, Kalam. So, you know, by the spirit, we, know, we hope this lesson is going to be edifying. So we're just actually going to roll through the spirits, you know. So it's very, very impossible. It's very, very impossible to say, to say you're not seeing what's been going on, you know. The prophecies are beginning to unfold, you know, one after the other, you know. So we have different prophecies, you know, popping up like popcorn, you know, like they say, you know. So, for example, I'll give you the updates from here in Italy where we find ourselves, you know. Here in Italy, we know that, um, you know, from in, within, within 13 days, you know, things are going to change drastically, you know. And people are, people are going to, you know, make very strong and tough decisions, you know, regarding whether to bow to the image of this beast okay get juiced up you know then let them prepare their bodies to get this um this MOTB you know or refuse to bow to the image of the beast you know and stay strong you know suffer for a little while and get your crown from your shy so this is this is actually the times we're going into you know and the funny thing is it really looks like it really looks like um <laughs> It really looks like no one cares, man, you know. People are easily, you know, going, going, you know, presenting themselves, you know, taking this juice, you know, taking this, you know, serpent venom, you know, without even thinking, you know, they're, they're thinking about the new norm, you know. But we, through the spirits, you know, we are, we are expecting a new heaven and a new earth, you know, where righteousness is going to, is going to rule, you know. Because this place is really messed up, man. Now it's really messed up, you know. So if you don't have those eyes to see that the things that are going on in this kingdom, you know, are not the right things. If you don't have the eyes to see that this kingdom is coming, really it's at the brink of its end. If you don't have the eyes to see that, you know, there is no, there is no justice in this kingdom, then probably, you know, the monster has actually prepared you for death, man. So, man, this is not the time, you know, you should be thinking of how you're going to eat, how you're going to live, all the things, you know. It's the time in which, you know, we need to expect miracles, man. We need to hold Yahweh Hashem Shai by his words, you know. He says, everyone on earth we sh sh shall pass away, but my words shall remain, you know. If the Most High says he's going to do something, he's going to do something, you know. So this is the time we really need to exhort ourselves, you know. This is the time we really need to encourage ourselves because the days that are coming ahead are wicked and evil days, man. You have any precept? Yeah. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10. Read out. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the couch, the heavens. The day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Okay, how does a thief come? A thief wouldn't, wouldn't call you and tell you, hey, I'm coming on this day to come and steal in your house. You know? A thief wouldn't tell you that, hey, um, look, uh, I'm sending you a letter, I'm coming so so day, you know, a thief comes at that time that you least expect, you know, he's gone. In which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt. Okay, now, this is a question you should ask yourself, what's going to make the heaven pass away and the elements melt, you know? And this is the ignorance in which, you know, these so-called so-called churches, you know, they don't know. 
you know they don't know the scriptures because the most high yahweh shem yahushai hasn't given it to them you know and what's going to make the the element melt this is through the, the nuclear we weapons you know the bombs now we're saying we're saying that things are heating up between iran china you know and babylon the great the united states you know things are really heating up and the europeans they don't they no longer they no longer trust america due to what just happened some weeks ago you know when the americans you know they went back as they normally do you know they sneaked through the back door and took away a deal that france was supposed to get you know but all this thing is you know is happening through the spirit because you know yahweh shai says you know um, a house divided between itself shall not stand you know and now we're saying this prophecy these are the things that are happening you know and babylon the great is going to be destroyed by those who are close to to, to her you know keep reading elements shall melt with prevalent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up can so everything that are inside are going to be born that's this kingdom as you know it this earth everything that you see is going to be burned up you know and that's the reason why you know the scripture tells you that you should lay your treasures where 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 moths and thieves cannot go through you know because everything in this kingdom is going to be destroyed Buongiorno. Come sta? Bene, lei? Bene, grazie. Mi dà un bel po'. Sono stata qui con voi un giorno. Sì, sì, mi ricordo bene. Era lei? Sì, sì, ero io. Mi sembrava che non era lei. Mi ricordo bene. Ah, lei si ricorda? Sì, sì, sì. Siamo stati tanto a parlare. Sì, l'avevo anche insegnato in nome del padre. Eh, sì, bravo. L'avevo detto anche di non prendere quel veleno là. Quale veleno? cosa che stanno dando la ah, tontura sì. lo ha preso eh, se no non ti puoi muovere eh, se no ti condizionano no eh, sì, lo scopo era quello eh, condizionare la gente eh, eh. Lo scopo era quello comunque ci affidiamo sempre a lui non abbiamo altro sempre a lui non è che mi affido alle persone per, per carità Can. Per l'amor di Dio, guarda, non, non ne parliamo, sono girando qua, ieri sera sono stata qua a fare due passi prima di andare a letto perché essendo da solo se no non si dorme, sì, sì. perché eh, prima di notte si ci si fatica, muove un po', un po sì. e si dorme un, un po' di Ma qua c'è un casino, guarda, c'è da scappare, c'è da scappare, sradicano le, le piante spullonano i, le panchine, tolgono tutte le panchine, eh, hanno rotto 3 quattro panchine, non rotto, sradicato le piante, le piante le tolgono, nessuno dice niente, ho chiamato i vigili, l'ho raccontato, profilattici sporchi per terra. Mamma mia, sì, questo è questo regno qui. È un regno corrotto sì, ma, che ma, non c'è giustizia. Ma, ma, uno viene per fare una passeggiata per andare a dormire meglio, trova questa cosa qua. E poi camminando per farla finita, l'ultima, eh, dei ragazzini ma molto piccoli, eh. il più grande avrebbe potuto avere 9-10 anni e il più piccolo la metà, 5-6 anni. Eh sì, ecco perché noi abbiamo la speranza eh. che ci sarà un nuovo governo in questo regno qui che governerà tutto cioè, bene. Se non gli dispiace, non li dis dispiace signora, eh. stiamo facendo una lezione a delle persone in inglese, ah. uh -huh. perciò non vogliamo... Non... No, 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 allora ma devo... ci vediamo un'altra volta. È stato un piacere. Eh. Buona ah, giornata. Per stare registrando. Sì, stiamo Mi facendo scusi. una... No, stia tranquilla. Oddio, no, vada eh. tranquilla. Eh. Allora, tranquilla. Buona giornata. Grazie, e buona grazie giornata. Grazie a voi, grazie Nulla. a voi. So anyway, sorry for the interruption, you know. As you can hear, you know, there was a time I was teaching out here and the lady came out, you know. She re she actually received this truth with happiness, you know, when I was telling her that, you know, this kingdom, you know, it's it's run by by the so-called white men who are the devils of this earth, you know, not a biblical nationality, Esau Edom, you know, she accepted she wants she was curious to know the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And you know, she noted it down. She came, I think, two twice, you know, to listen to, to teachings. But you know, I told her about everything, not to not to bow to the image of this beast, not to take this serpent juice, you know. So if y'all can understand what she was saying, she was like, Yeah, 
you can't go anywhere if you don't take it you can't do anything you know so this is the conditioning you know and this this she's just like she's, she she can be compared you know to that um what do you call it you know the parable of the seeds you know you know some seeds are thrown into the into the rock you know they, they take root you know when they when they hear the truth they're happy about it but once you know adversity uh, adversities and problems come you know they throw the truth away you know so this is what's going to happen this is going to this is going to be the difference between you know those whom the most high yahweh Hashem Shai has chosen and those who he has chosen for destruction you know so yahweh Hashem Shai Ratazah we are part of that number of those you know who are going to be chosen you know those who are going to be counted you know um worthy of this new kingdom you now this is our prayer and that's the reason why we are out here you know coming out you know trying our best to put into practice this commandment to the best of our abilities you know and that's because that's also a sign of the fear that we have towards Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because the fear of the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the beginning of wisdom you know in which most people don't have this fear they don't know you know so if you don't, if you don't mind we'll go back to what we're we're reading you know we're speaking about second peter yeah, yeah. you know uh, second peter three okay. okay continue from where we start yeah this is the book of second peter chapter 3 verse 11 seeing then that all these things shall be up shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness can what matter of persons are you supposed to be you know your eyes are meant to be single you know you're meant to be as Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai you're meant to be as Yahweh Shai as perfect as Yahweh Shai is your eyes are meant to be single you know you can't serve you can't serve God and Mammon you know your eyes are meant to be single which your eyes your heart is meant to be set in this kingdom that is yet to come you know this kingdom should be your greatest priority this kingdom should be your everything you know just like what the woman was saying she was saying that this place is really going crazy because this is a park so she came last night to take a walk before she went to bed and she found out there were lots of young young gangs you know out there you know all these little gangs you know you know destroying things up you know and this is it man this kingdom is messed up this kingdom is is ripe for destruction should we talk about the commandments that they've twisted all around? Should we talk about the, 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 the wicked decrees that they've laid down? What should we talk about? Should we talk about the, the food that has been corrupted? Should we talk about the animals that are corrupted? Everything here is corrupted. So if you don't have these eyes to see, man, you don't have the right eyes, man. Your eyes are meant to be single towards the kingdom of heaven, you know? That kingdom is meant to be your your goal man that's that's career that's what we call career man priority. you know what do you say priority. that's meant to be your priority man so go on looking for the looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of god we are in the heavens being on being on fire shall be dissolved and the element shall melt with fervent heat so as we explained earlier you know we should be looking we should be looking on to that day man you need to be to be scared of what's about to come pray to the most high yahweh shem yahushai you know take your hearts all away from these things that are that are tying you down that are not making you gravitate man you know all these worries and all these loads of this earth you need to drop everything behind man because at the end of the day when you die man everything is vanity just like the book of ecclesiastes say man People are running after riches, people are running after all sorts of madness, you know, careers, you know, trying to be a part of the elite, the Esau, Edom elite. People are actually looking for their paradise in this place, man. People are actually looking for their kingdom here. People never pray for the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahushai to come. Some, some friend called me, you know, during the week, you know, he told me that at his workplace, you know, they already sent the letters that in, within, within 12 days, they will all need to comply to the rule if they don't have the the serpent serum you know they can't they, they're not going to get paid at work you know so you know i was telling him like you know this is what it is man you know trying to bring out some scriptures to him 
But you know, these people are just looking for ways, you know, they're looking for different ways to bypass, to bypass what's about to come. Man, this is a time of great trouble, man. Bring out the book of Luke 21. You know, we're going to be having famine, we're going to be having all different kinds of pestilence, wars, rumors and wars and rumors of wars, you know. We have all different kinds of things right behind. So it makes no sense that you're still looking for something in this kingdom. There is nothing else to look for in this kingdom, man. The best thing you can do is to pray to the Most High Yah Bashem Shai and do according to his words, man. That's you'll be likened to a wise man, you know. You can start from maybe verse 11 like that. That's 11. That's 11, right? This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. And a great earthquake shall be in diverse places. And famines so and we'll be, pestilence. We've been hearing of different earthquakes in diverse places, you know. Most especially in this past few years, you know. You have um, the number of earthquakes, you know, skyrocketing, man. Even the TV don't, they don't cover everything, you know. Pestilence, we haven't we've seen all different kinds of pestilence. We've been saying that, you know, you have this, um, this low-cost um, pestilence in different parts of Africa, you know, eating up the crops, you know. And now this piece speaks also about famine, you know, I posted a video some days ago, you know, bringing out an article here in Italy, you know, in which they're speaking about, you know, there is going to be a, a great famine coming very soon, you know, shortage of, shortage, of, shortage of food, you know, and we're beginning to see the same pattern in, in the UK, we're seeing the same pattern in the US, you know, it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that is orchestrating these things, man. And the Bible, the Bible has already, you know, prepared our hearts, letting us know that these days are really going to be heavy and wicked days, man. So it makes no sense that the Bible has already predicted these things. Then you should try looking for a sort of, you know, way to bypass these things, you know. It makes no sense, man. So go on. Pestilence and fearful sight and great sight shall there be from heaven. Can. But therefore, sorry. But before all those, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogue. Can. And you know, we are already seeing that persecution coming in different forms. You know, you know how Esau moves. Esau moves in, you know, in a subtle way. You know, it goes through a process they call gradualism. You know. And very soon we're also seeing, you know, the prophecy in the book of Amos 8:11, you know, the famine of the world coming too. You know, they already put different kinds of decrees, different kind of laws that um, if you're if you're if you're speaking against what they did, what they deem is true, you know, you could be persecuted. You know, so we're seeing all these things, and we know they will come for some brothers. You know, whatever Yahba Hashem Shai, you know, whatever His will be for any one of us, you know, let His will be. Go. Okay. Verse 36. What should therefore and pray always that Can. you may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass? Can. We're told to watch and pray, man. Watch and pray, you know, and this connects to, this connects to Ephesians 5.15, you know, walking as wise people, you know, redeeming the time. Watch and pray. What people are not doing, you know, people are not saying what's going on, man. They are all about their careers. They are all about the money. They're all about the paper bills and whatever, you know? So we should be praying to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai so that we wouldn't fall victim of all this destruction that is about to come. And we know the most that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through faith is going to be there for us, you know? So go on. Okay, that's it. All those things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Can. So you should be watching and praying, you know, so you can escape all those things that shall come to pass, you know. Like the book of Abakok is a two tree, it tells you that, you know, these words, these things are not going to tarry too long. You want to bring it out, you know. Okay. This is the book of Habakkuk 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak Can. and not lie. These visions are yet for an appointed time. And that time has already started. It shall speak. It's not going to tarry, man. People are thinking maybe, you know, 
Um, the monster is not going to return anymore. Yao Sha is not going to return anymore. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to take maybe another decade for him to come back. You know, people are not saying all these things. You know, they're in that spirit of you know slumber, man. But my people are, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, they don't seek the monster Yao Basham Yao Sha. They seek their oppressors. You know, they are they're scared to lose their lives. They're scared to lose their jobs. They are scared to lose everything. Everything in which, at the end of the day, they are still going to lose them. Promise. You know? Vanity, man. Vanity. You have a precept. So, it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. No. Can. So, we're going to go to the book of um, Second Ezra. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 43. That's in the Apocrypha. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 7, verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of the immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. Can. So this is what we are actually looking for. You can connect it to that you know, second Corinthians that say, you know, for we look for we look for a new heaven. We'll bring that one out. So you know. This time is about to, to be destroyed, you know, and we are expecting, you know, a new heaven and a new earth, you know, no, where corruption no, no, is... Second Peter 2. Second Peter, Second Peter, Second Peter 2, verse 10, no. New heaven and new earth. New earth, you know, it's connect, thank you, it's connected to this, you know. Can you repeat this verse that you read again? Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of the immortality for to come, we are in corruption is past. Can so you know there there are two key words, day of doom, you know, day of doom. So before we get to immortality, we need to go through this day of doom that is about to come, man. This day of doom is crazy, man. You know those prophets that saw these visions, you know, they were really afraid, you know, they got sick, you know. Is it not Ezra that was saying, you know, woe unto me? Yeah, who shall deliver me? On who that shall day? deliver me on that day, man? You know. So, hey, the fear of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is the beginning of wisdom. And those who don't fear the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, they are going to be destroyed, man, to their greatest surprise. And those who have the fear of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, they are going to be crowned with the crown of life, man. Immortality, you know. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be, we're going to live forever, man. We're not going to have the sufferings that we're having here on that Esau Edom, you know. We're going to have wives and concubines and overall all those people that have taken us slaves all these days you know the real israelites who are the so-called negroes native americans and the latinos those who have taken them slaves are going to slay into slavery you know just like the book of um Re revelation 13 says you know you have precepts yeah this is the book of second corinthians chapter 5 verse 11. knowing they are for the terror of the lord we persuade men but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Can so we knowing we knowing the, the terribleness of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. The Most High is terrible, man. The Most High is not what the white man has you know depicted him to be all loving. No, the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is not all loving. He's a balanced Father, man. He's a balanced God, you know. You know, so we are persuading all you people, you know, now we're calling you because the days are coming when you start calling us, you know, and we wouldn't pick these phones, man, to be too late for y'all. Is it not written just like, just like in the days of Noah, people were marrying, people were, 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 were giving to wife, people were enjoying and doing all sorts of different things, you know, ignoring the prophets, man. So, hey, these days are, are really going to be wicked, you know, and things are just going to sky, skyrocket, you know, go up, you know, from zero to hundred, you know. Things are going to get worse from zero to hundred, you know. So now is the time to seek for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai while he still may be found, like the book of Isaiah says, you know. Because, you know, just like I mentioned earlier, the book of Amos 8.11, the famine of the world, it's about to be down, man. It's about to be down, man. Like here in Italy, we don't know how long we can go on with this ministry, you know. 
But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Ratazah will keep going until, you know, until the day the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai says, okay, stop, you know. But hey, these times are really close, man. Days are wicked, man. Times like never before since the beginning of the earth, you know. Daniel 12, 1. Yeah, precept. Yeah, according to what you are saying, you know, redeeming Speak the out. time. Can. Scripture says we should seek you, the Lord, where you might be found. You know? So, in these days, a lot of people are, you know, you know, trying to seek in the things of this world, you know. You know, a lot of people don't even know who they are. At the end of the day, you know? they're actually trusting in men, you know? Yeah. You know? So, this is the book of Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek you, the Lord, where he might be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Like my brother is saying, you know, very soon I believe he's here. You know, Amos 8 11 will soon be fulfilled. Our car, our car, we, we have a vehicle that we normally use to travel far this time from city to city to, you know, try to do our part to preach the gospel. The car just broke down. So I, I, I was telling the brother, that was two days ago, right? Yeah. I just told the brother, look, it, it, it seemed that. This ministry is coming to an end, you know. So at the same day, in the night, I believe I watch uh, the, uh, the uh, brother from New York, Mawangaba, I think. You know, he just did a lesson by you know saying that uh, YouTube very soon there will be censoring, censoring all videos, any video concerning the 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 main thing. The, new, the you know what <laughs> the you know what yeah <laughs> you know what <laughs> so this is it man we are here we are here this is the end you know so our people don't know what's going on the scripture tell us that we should seek you first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added no to us. no but the people are seeking actually their their, their careers first yeah. and they think when they seek for their careers and seek for their for their whatever, for the money, you know, the kingdom of heaven will be added. That's what these teachers, these pastors are teaching, you know. Prosperity gospel, man. You have any precept? Are you there or bring up some scripture? I think I'm sick. People are actually seeking their own they are seeking their own, their own, <laughs> they are seeking their own kingdom here, man. Seeking their space, man. They don't give a flying hoot about the truth, man. And it's, well, it's written anyway in the book of Zechariah, you know, two thirds of the house of Israel is going to be destroyed alongside with the wicked, you know. Yeah, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things shall be added unto you you know right now a lot of people are asking you know calling how am i going to do if i don't take the juice you know two days ago i was talking to my cousin oh, so i was talking to my cousin telling him about this juice look you don't have to do this don't take this we are the children of israel we are the two russia allah you know so everything that is going on now is not coincident you know the scriptures say that this, this, uh, it was written in the prophecy that in the last day the children of Israel will rise, the dry bone, you know, God, because we, we have been dis, di, uh, uh, disposed from all four corners of the world, you know, we are the people of the book. So I was trying to let, enlighten him a little, you know, I've, I've been speaking to him, but uh, he said, man, he, can't, he, he couldn't, uh, there's no, nothing he could do. He need to pay his house rent, he's, he, he, his boss, uh, uh, his boss talked to him. He said that uh, by 16th of this month, he should present his green pass. So that's it. Are you true? Yeah, man. So anyway, you know, you read a scripture at the other time. You know, what matter of men shall we be? You know, this is the time we should be trusting in the Most High Yah, Bashem Yah Shai, with all our heart, man. This is the time we should be putting into practice, you know, the word faith, which in the book of Hebrew, it tells you faith is the 
is the first is the subtitle is the subtitle of things Six. not seen you know you, you can bring it out that's hebrew hebrew 11 hebrew 11 you know hebrew 11 what? This is the book of Hebrew, 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Can. And this is just the difference between, you know, those in the spirit and those walking according to the flesh. Yeah. Those that are walking according to the flesh, their faith is actually based on things that they can see, that they can touch, you know. But we that we are in this truth, the faith is actually based on things that we can't see. We can only we can only see through the scriptures you know we can only believe that you know we're going to be given we're going to be given you know crowns of life you know we can only see through the scriptures that you know the kingdom that is coming is going to be ours man we can only see through the scriptures that you know those who have taken us captives all these years are going into captivity you know but those those people who are living after the flesh they're scared man they're putting their trust in men you know in men men give me the book of um, proverbs 3 um no psalm 188 psalm 188 you know they put their trust in men they put their trust in their jobs you know because they, they don't have the faith to see through man you know go this is the book of psalm chapter 118 verse 8 it is better to trust in the lord than to than to put confidence in man can it is better to trust in the lord yahweh shemi Shai than to put confidence in man and all these people who are just lining up you know getting worried of their jobs getting worried of how they're going to feed and all these things you know they're worried because they put their trust in those fleshy things man carnal things you know carnal things you know things that cannot things that cannot that cannot last forever man so this is this is the difference between those who are walking by the spirit and those who are walking by the faith, man. Okay, Go. This is the book of Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Right. Thus says the Lord, Cause be the man that trusted in the man and maketh flesh his arm, and can. whose heart depart from the Lord. Can, can. Cause be the man, you know, that put his trust in, in flesh, man, you know. These people put their trust in flesh, but they don't put their trust in the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, who created everything, you know. They don't remember the men of old, you know. They don't remember the prophets of old, you know. How many of them have the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai forsaken? That's the book of um, Sirach 2. Okay. See, Sirach 2.10, you know. If you can get it, please. Yeah, no, let me get this. Finish, finish, then get that 2.10, yeah. Oh. You know, you are saying about our people who trusted in, in the man. So this is what the prophet, the pro prophet Ezra, Ezra said. This is the book of Ezra, 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 6, 6 to 9. And they that consent unto them shall be in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. And those who trusted in, who trusted in men, they shall, they shall be in derision, you know? Because when everything goes when everything goes, you know, from zero to hundred, man, people are going to be confused. They wouldn't even know what's going on, man. When people start saying, you know, the bombs flying, you know, when people start saying all different kinds of destruction, farming, you know, people are going to get confused, you know, because they don't know what's going on, man. They've never kept their trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. They've only kept their trust in their in their bosses. They've only kept their trust in their money, you know, and things that are going to be destroyed and corrupted, man, you know. So go on. Yeah. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Can. And the answer is no. You know, the answer is no. The scripture tells you to look in the generations that are past. Look into the past, man. Those who trusted in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, has the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai forsaken any one of them? The answer is no. The answer is no. And those who were actually put to death, you know, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has a reason for that, you know. There's a scripture that tells you that, you know, beautiful is the death of his saints in his eyes, man. Hey, whatever, whatever, whatever your lot be is that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai places on you because 
according to the scripture we know some of us are going to be taken into prison you know some of us are going to be you know beheaded for this truth you know whatever comes your way you know take it with take it with take it with gladness man you know because knowing that the most high Bashem Yahushua is going to bless us with things that are way more remember the brothers of the Maccabees you know now let's read the book of um, Psalm 146 3 if you don't you have you still have no, let me finish it. Okay, finish it. Yeah. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Can. And the answer is no. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has never despised anybody that called upon him. You know. That's the answer. You know. It's never written. It's not. It's not in any way. Only those who personally, you know, go after different gods. You know, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are going to destroy them. So all those people that are going after mammon because if you go the scripture tells you you know you can't worship god and mammon you know the word mammon actually means you know money treasures you know those who are actually going after the treasures of this world you know how they're going to feed how they're going to pay their house rent and all these things you know so their greatest surprise man they'll be destroyed man so go on let me see if this thing is still recording man I should continue? Yeah, continue. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiving sins and safe in time of affliction. Can the most high is long suffering, you know. He forgives sins, you know. That's why, you know, no matter no matter how much how much time you know you 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 fall, you fall short of his glory, no matter how, because all have sinned and come short of his glory, you know, you should always, you know look for the courage you know to raise yourself back and call on the most high yah by shemi man yeah because the, the scripture said that the just man shall fall it seven can, times can. Can. the just man shall shall fall seven times you know and he shall rise again what scripture did you just read now it's ecclesiastical uh, three level can. so hey you know the problem is you know people don't know the most high yah by shemi Shai. They let this um they let they let these false prophets they let them teach them the scriptures you know and rather now even people are not even in these churches they don't even read from the bible you know they're all motivational speakers man they just speak what whatever they want to say and give you john 3 16 you know and call it a day you know so people are not seeking from the book of the law you know the scriptures say, you know, seek from the book of the law and let, let, don't let these words depart from your mouth. Meditate upon them day and night, man. You know? So if you don't seek from this, then you don't know the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So if you want to get, you have a precept. No? So you can get the book of um, Psalm 44. Psalm 40, verse 4. Psalm 40, verse 4. Yep. This is the book of Psalm 40, verse 4. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust. Can. Blessed is the man that maketh the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai his trust. Here it's not saying blessed is the man that maketh his, his intelligence, his wisdom, his trust. You know? It's not saying blessed is the man that maketh his riches, his trust. You know? In which in this kingdom today, this is what it's all sacred about, you know, your what, your riches, your everything, you know? Blessed is the man that make it, that make it Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is trust, you know. And this is what we really need to do in these days, man. There is no questioning about it when they tell you at your job place, man. If you can if you don't take this Vanessa Venom, you know you can't walk, man. Fuck that work, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to provide, man. Yahweh Shai fed, you know, he fed five thousand people with five with five loaves. I mean, was it five loaves yeah. of bread and two fishes, man? With two fishes. You know. The most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai fed the sons of Israel with manna in the, in, the, in the wilderness. You know, he brought water from, from the desert, you know, from the rock where there was no water. That same power can still do these miracles, man. He split the, the, the Red Sea open into two and he made the sons of Israel walk through it, man. Go on. Go on, I have a question. From 65 verse 13. Because you are talking about how we shall survive in a time like this you know this is isaiah 65 verse 13 therefore thus says the lord god behold my servant shall eat but you shall be hungry can 
Behold, my servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Can. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Can. You see, the most I have Hashem Yahushai said it, you know, his servant shall eat. You know, there is another one in the book of Job, you know, it said, yeah. the, um, okay, if you want to get that one, you know, his servants are going to eat in the days of famine, man. This is what you should be putting your trust on, you know. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is not slack to help, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is not slack that he can't, he, can't, he, can't, he can't give you a miracle, man. You know, in those days, these are the miracles we are actually expecting. You know, we are going according to his words, you know. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place is this truth, man. His words, you know. So if you dwell in these words, if you do according to these words, you're going to abide under his shadows. Have you ever, the other day you were telling me about, you know, you were telling me about, you know, going to pick a chicken, um, a chick of a chicken. If you see a, a hen that has chicks, you know, you would never go close to, to those hens, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you try it, you know, you can go close to a hen that has little chicks and try to touch one of those chicks, man. You yeah. say this little hen is going to turn to Jet Li, man. He's going to run after you and, you know, fight, fight. And that's how the most I you know it does. And there's a scripture that tells, you know, he owes you how many times have I gathered you as a hen gatherer at chicks, you know? You know, he said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Go on. This is the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from power of the sword. Can, you know, the Most High is going to redeem thee in the time of famine, man. There shall no evil come near thee, you know. In death is going to redeem thee from the sword. You know, people are scared of all these things because it's the nation or na nature of the flesh, man. And the flesh is what nothing, man. This is the nature of the flesh. And everything we're doing in this kingdom is all to gratify the flesh, man. Every single damn thing we're doing in this kingdom is all in order to gratify the flesh. If you keep listening to your flesh, man, <laughs> you're gone. You're gone. That was the dip. That was what. That was what happened to Eve. You know, she got seduced by the serpent, which, you know, is talking about this wicked. You know, the wicked seed. You know, she got deceived by them, and she went for the flesh, man. And here, here we go. Through her, you know, we are we all. all die. We, are, we are. We are all going to die, man. Through Eve, we all die because she fell for the flesh. So you know, you have different men falling for the flesh now. Because everything you do is just to gratify the flesh. The flesh doesn't want to suffer. The flesh wants to be okay. The flesh doesn't want any problem, doesn't want any harm. The flesh just wants to be calm, man. Just wants to be in his zone. Don't disturb me, you know. That's the flesh. But the spirit is different, you know. You need to walk in the spirit and grow rather in the spirit. Yahushai says, you know, um, how, how is that scripture? He said, man, man shall, shall not, man shall not live by alone. bread alone, man. There is bread for the flesh and there is also bread for the spirit, man. And those who are actually eating the bread for the spirit now, in the time when in the time of problem, you know, the spirit is going to show itself, man. Because it's the spirit that connects to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, not the flesh, man. You are precept. Oh, you want to finish? Yeah, it was talking about the the the, uh, the flesh. Up. So Yahweh Shai. When 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 Yahusha was in tribulation, his last temptation, the, the serpent came to him. Can. I mean, the spiritual demon said that. Can. You know, when he was tempted, but he rebuked him with the scripture. Can. He says, "This is Matthew chapter four, verse four. He said, "But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Yahusha." So, this is the word we are eating. The, the bread of life, you know, Can. not the carnal bread that we used to know, not the carnal bread that we eat in the days of our ancestors, the days of Moses, you know. So we are eating the bread of life, so that when this time, the 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 the, the when the 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 time that have never been before, days approach, of tribulation, yeah. days of trouble. So we will be saved because yeah, uh, Yahweh said that because you have kept this word. 
I also will keep you. You can bring it out, you know, because you have kept the word of my patience, yeah. you know. But I also will keep you from I the hour. I also will keep you from the hour of temptation. Hour of temptation. You know? So, so this is our faith, man. So we have nothing Power to worry about. about. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of, of temptation, temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Man, there is a time of temptation that is coming all over the world, man. I did a video the other day and the title was, You Must Be Tested, man. Yeah. You can't escape it, man. <laughs> you, we all must be tested, yeah, man. This, this, what we are going to is nothing but a trial. It's, it's a, a trial, test, man. You know? <laughs> it's, a tri it's a trial, it's a test. <laughs> so Yabashi and Yashai wanted to know if we truly believe, you know, in if, him. If you want to buy but, gold, yeah. if you want to buy gold, if you want to purchase gold, don't you test the gold to know if the gold is original? Yes. You need to test the gold, you know? We are also liking on to find gold. We are liking to, 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 to draw, uh, you know, before the most high Yahab Hashem Yahushai. And we are all going to be tested, you know? You know how they take that pen, that stuff, and they test people's bling, you know? We are all going to be tested, man. You can't escape it, you know? Or oh, even all these, um, all these, uh, Company that manufacture vehicle. Can when can. they manufacture their vehicle before they bring it out, they have to test have it, to man. Test it. So this is what we are going through. We are going to be tested, man. Yes. And there is a scripture that says, you know, um, um, as as you know, as um, as gold is being refined, yeah. you know, we are also going to be refined in the fire of um of um. I can't remember if you can get the scripture. Fire of um. Of trial, so you know. Yeah, so each one of us are going to be tested, and you know, the only thing that is going to make you pass this test is you know, you being humble about it, man. You being humble, praying, and having the fear of the Most High. If you have the fear of the Most High, man, that's just the, the beginning, man. That's the the, the pass, the pass actually. If you have the fear of the Most High, because the fear of the Most High is going to make you to seek Him more. It's going to make you to listen to his words, you know, and that fear of the Most High is going to, you know, you're going to learn that wisdom that you never imagine you can learn, man. And that's what people are lacking, you know, the fear of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They think the Most High is just like, you know, the Father Christmas, you know, Santa Claus or so, you know, with the white beards and it comes and it's going to throw gifts to everybody. Or Yahweh is going to come back and it's going to be hugging everybody, man. It's going to be slaying motherfuckers, man. Go. So this is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. Let me start from 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Can prepare thy soul for temptation, you know. And that time of great temptation is really coming. We've been fighting, you know, towards different kinds of temptation, you know. Many brothers used to, used to smoke. Many brothers used to have that smoking demon just like me, you know. We used to have the smoking demon on ourselves, you know fornication adultery and all kind of madness you know and this this when we came into this truth we knew that what we were doing was wrong you know we repented prayed to the most high yah bashem yah shai we got cleansed by the word you know we got baptized by this truth okay not by water you know we got baptized by this truth and we started you know taking step 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 you know praying for the mercies of the most high yah bashem yah shai go on Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Sorry. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Can. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Just like I was saying, set thy heart aright, man. When we came into this truth, we accepted that everything we were doing was wrong, man. We started learning from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you know. They were just bringing all kind of things, you know, that, you know, normally you would look and you'll be like, you know, many people have given up because they couldn't give up. They couldn't give up certain things, you know. They, they couldn't man up and give up certain things, you know. The flesh, you know, the flesh was actually requesting certain things that they couldn't give up, you know. We examined ourselves and we manned up, man. Go on. Cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at the last end. Can when you come into this truth, you know, cleave onto this truth, you know. Don't let it depart, man. 
that links to that scriptures that says um, um, this word meditate on meditate on this word day and night they should not depart from thy mouth man go on for whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art charged to a low estate can for gold is tried in the fire oh dear, before you get there you don't know, read read the the few words that were before that then hold on don't go into that gold yet okay whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully okay whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully you know but you know majority of our people are not taking this thing cheerfully that's why they go and sell their soul you know they go and sell their soul because they can't take what's brought upon us this is the cost man if yeah. you are an Israelite, you're definitely going to be below in the society, man. Okay, the most time makes a few of them, you know, have some money or any, all those kind of thing. But you know, this is not a place for joy. This is not. This is not a joy ground, man. Even 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 most of them that have this money have to go through the devil. Can and most of the people that have this money, they have to go through this devil. So read what you just read again. Please. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully okay. and be patient. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient, you know. Many don't have patience, you know. They see other people calling. They see all the niggas, you know, coming out with Lamborghinis, you know, buying houses, you know. So people are not patient, you know. They don't take cheerfully, you know, the state of um, the state of, state of slavery that we find ourselves today. Because, you know, these this are part of the courses if you read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, you know. There are some courses that are kept upon us, you know. They shall lend to us. We shall be below in the, in the society, you know. So if you don't take this thing cheerfully, knowing that there is a kingdom coming for you, man, you're just going, you're going flying into a ditch, man. And this is really deep because, you know, this, this scripture right here is really deep because people don't take cheerfully what the Most High has brought upon them. Instead of them, you know, in their situation, calling on the Most High and begging Him, Father, please, ease in my, ease in my burden. Help me out. This is what you should be doing. Some, you know, they try to look for a way. They are not patient enough. Or know? even try to find out why they're in that situation. They don't even try to find out. You know, that's regarding to the book of um, Isaiah 1-3. Yeah. They don't that's consider, man. People don't consider. They don't consider. So read. Read the whole chapter again so you now get to that point for you. Okay. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art charged to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Can. The, the apostles, the elders, they've done a video, you know, some months ago, you know, about that, that female looking like an Edomite. She probably could be an Israelite, you know speaking about the process in which a gold needs to go through yeah, by the blacks Malachi, by right. the smith before 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 coming out you know Sorry. it's a crazy process man but be, be sure that in that process the eyes of the most eye yahweh shem yahushai is always on you it would never give you temptation that are stronger than you it will never give you situation that you can't handle man any situation you find yourself just know that the most high yahweh shem yahushai has built you in a way to overcome that situation man you know so we are going to be tried man and the major trial man the last trial is what's about to come if you love me keep my commandments you know didn't the most i tell you not to make curtains into your flesh be patient and now we, you need you have to go back to that um, revelation tree please you know word of my patience you know so this is the time you know these trials are coming you know if you read the book of um, daniel 12 1 it tells you a time of great tribulation like never before you know and now the major test is coming man the most high is not a man that you should be joking with the most high man the most high doesn't think like us man we are filled with nothing, man. The Most High is going to try you, man. People think they can bypass everything, you know, because they get things always easy in this world. And see, many people in this truth of ours, you know, in these days, you know, many are going to fall. Many are going to fall. This time now is going to, is going to, is going to, is going to set a line between the boys and the men. Or just like the scripture says, you know, the chaff from the grain. The time of the great siphon is coming very soon because many people are going to give up they're not going to remember these words 
fear is going to overcome them and overtake them and they'll bow to the image of this beast by taking you know this juice which is a preparation for for, for the for marcos motb you know go revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou has kept the word of my patient i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation can so this is what we're saying because thou has kept the word of my patient you know we have been patient we didn't let all these um, all these things that we see on the tv we don't we didn't let them overcome us we didn't let our friends who are balling who are getting these lamborghinis we didn't let it overcome us you know we wished them well yeah you got it that's good for you that's a lot okay but we took what we had to take with patience you know begging the most high to help us you know because we know whenever we call on him he always help us you know so in the time of this great tribulation is going to be there for us man because he knows we have always called upon his name we have always you know humbled ourselves and taken whatever has been given to us you know at any time you know this is what it is man because in these times man <laughs> this you see this kingdom weak men are not going to make it into this kingdom man if you're weak you can't make it into this kingdom you can't make it into this kingdom if you're a weak man and when I say weak man, it's not by your strength or anything, it's by the spirit, man. Just like we said before, you know, not all what goes into the um, uh, uh, man shall not live by bread alone, you know. But by every word that comes out from the mouth of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, you know. It's not talking about physical strength, it's talking about spiritual strength, you know. If you're weak in the spirit, you can't make it to the other side, man. It's just like a marathon race. If you ever run a, a, a marathon race, you know, I ran, I remember one marathon race I ran back when I was in school. We had some inter-house sports and stuff like that, you know, and I did a 400 race, you know. I am normally a sprinter. I run the sprint, you know, I do 100 meters. So this time around, you know, the person that was supposed to do the 400 was not available, had an injury. So they told me to do the 400 and I'm not trained well for, for the 400, man. When I started running, I was the fastest I was. I left these people. Man, I got to out of the road, man. I had no strength anymore. All these people left me. All the people I left behind, they came and they passed me. What was in my mind was to just end the race there. I shouldn't even get to the, to the, to the, to the finish line. You know, I wanted to stop. I stopped actually. Then, you know, they were telling me that, no, you have to finish. It's the law. Even if you're going to walk it down, <laughs> you just have to finish, you know? So it's not who has the strength at the beginning, it's at the end, you know. So if you have, keep speaking. Let me see if this thing is recording, yeah? Yeah, the scripture says you should seek the old path. Like, like me, for instance, I always like to look back to see, to see how, how far we have come and to understand what brought us to the level we are right now, you know? So, I just thank Yahabha Hashim Yashai for giving us this knowledge, you know? Our people, so many of our people we all come across, every time we try to tell them, look, we are the children of Israel. This is what happened to us. We didn't just fall from heaven, just like a, a, like a tree, no, or like a fruit, you know? So, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16. Thus says the Lord, Stand you in the ways, and see, and ask for the old path, where is good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. Can, can, you should seek the right ways, you know, the ways of the path, because this book was written actually what's that scripture that says you know um what was written aforetime time was written for our learning you know romans 15 4. romans 15 4 can you get it please because just like the brother said you know you should seek from the people of old you know yeah seek for the right path and walk in the right path man yeah because our people don't know what why we are suffering they don't know they, they don't, don't know, know where we are in the level where we are they, they don't, don't know consider, why man. they don't know where we are in bottom you know Right there in Nigeria, there's a lot of suffering going on. It's just almost the same thing with, uh, 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 almost similar the same thing with uh, uh, Haiti. 
Haiti, yeah? You know, they don't understand all this. Why you try to tell them, look, we are the people of this book. This is our history. We are not them Nigeria. You know, we are not Nigerian. Yesterday, they just celebrated 61 years of uh, independence. Yeah, independence of what? Independence <laughs> of what? We are still suffering, crying. In Nigeria, if you, a lot of people every day are trying to flee from the country. You know, they don't even know why we, we, we speak different language, we mix with different tribes. They don't know, how, they don't know why we, how we got there. They don't know how we got there. So when you try to tell them, look, this, this is who we are. You know, this is our book, this is our history, this is where we came from. The people living in Israel land, those people there are imposters, as they say. Right? Imposters. imposters. You know, we are the rightful people. Because the scriptures say, when the true Israelite return, there shall be no more war. No? Nation will not rise against nation, but they, 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 in 1948 they claim that the Israel have returned, right? But what is going on today? We are still is, seeing where war. Is where, where is King David? Where is King David? Huh? This is not the kingdom of heaven. That <laughs> why, are... why do they have all, all missiles pointed war. against them around them? <laughs> yeah, I remember when I used to, before I came into this, there's, there's, uh, there's this, uh, uh, this preacher from Israel. His name is Behold Israel. You know, I used to watch him. So. One of his videos, he said that every house in Israel have a bomb shelter. You know, <laughs> once the alarm goes off, he said, yeah, he said that even, even a child of two years old know the, 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 the meaning of the alarm. Once they hear the alarm, they all run into the house. Into this the bomb what, shelter. Yeah, this is not why. Uh, yeah, that's the Israel of Amalek, you know. You know? Our Lord said, when we return, we shall live in peace and no one shall make us afraid, you know. No, but, but these people, people are living in fear. That's what we just said. Israel don't consider. They don't consider, man. So like the brother was saying, this is the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatever thing we are written at four time, we are written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scripture, might have hope. Yeah, the scripture says that the Israel, the Heavenly Father cast away his people. God forbid. You know, cast away his people. And at the last day, we are going to return. This is what the scripture is saying. Ezekiel chapter 7, the dry bone. This is us. This is who we are. You know, but today they are telling us a uh, universal love, you know, God so loved the world, no, you know. World, yeah. So they don't even know the reason why Yahusha came to die. They don't know, because in the ancient days we used to do sacrifice. Excuse me, you know? they don't even know Yahweh Shai, because they know Cesare Borgia. Yeah. They know a different deity, okay. Cesare Borgia, the white Jesus with the blonde hair, is not, is nothing, man. It's a devil, it's a devil actually. You know, so they don't know the most I have about Shemiel Shai. They don't even know, don't his even name. know Yahweh Shai. They don't know his name. They don't know his true name. They don't know his appearance. Even if it is written in the book of Revelation 1, 15, uh, 13 to 15, they don't know it, you know. That's that scripture that is telling you in the book of Isaiah 1, 3. They don't consider, man. It says the ox know his knows his master, you know. And he knows his master's creed, you know. But Israel does not consider, they don't know, man. Amongst my people are found wicked foolish, man. wicked and foolish men, man. Sottish children. So this is what it is, man. And this is why many of these people are going to give up in these last days because of their ignorance. Hosea 4, 4, 6. For my people perish for lack of knowledge, man. As you have rejected me, I would also reject thee, you know. These people don't know. That's why two thirds are going to be destroyed. Don't you wonder how come you know the number is so high? If you take the whole of Israel, you take two thirds of Israel. It's just like having an orange, and you cut it into three pieces, and only one of that piece is going to be saved. The remaining two are going to be destroyed. You know, it's that's a lot, man. A lot of people are going to die, and the most die is going to. Oh, people don't know, man. They don't know what's coming, man. People, people think, man, it's all going to, they're waiting for a new normal. Where you get that new normal, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get that new normal. Just yeah, they're chill. already in a new normal. Chill. Because, because they will get the real new normal. The normal now, for you, you to, know? for you to do anything, you have to get the, you know. The V, you know. So, that's a new normal. So, they're having it, man. Well, I believe, I believe we hit the points, you know. If you still have some more spare, um, precepts to bring out you know we just add maybe a few precepts and we and we close the, the video you yeah. know so usually in this park you, you usually have people but people are the other side 
but during by midday you know they actually left and they all went to eat because these people they love food so much you know in italy they love food once it's 12 midday man they could just you know run you over with the car just because they want to go eat the spaghetti <laughs> go so this is this is ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. let us hear the conclusion of the the whole matter Fear Yahabashin Yahashai and keep his commandment. Ah. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Yeah. Okay, the whole duty of man is not trying to, to be the best version of yourself. In this life, in this in this kingdom. The whole duty, yeah, if you want to be the best version of yourself, it's through this book. Yep. It's through this truth, man. That's how you can be the best version of yourself. The whole duty of man is not following his heart desires and his careers, you know. The heart is deceitful above all things, you know. In this world, they tell you, oh, follow your heart. You know, do what your heart tells you. Hey, how foolish and deceitful are the people, man. So it's not telling you the whole, the whole, the whole conclusion of the matter is, you know, get as much riches and prepare yourself for the day of famine. No, your riches are not going to help you. Whatever you put aside is not going to help you. It is by the Spirit, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, that's why the scripture says, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything shall be added to you. So those who haven't seek, seek, sought out the kingdom of heaven, they are all going to be destroyed, man. They are all going to be destroyed. You know, sometimes we brothers, we just, we just, we break bread together and we speak about, you know, those people that don't know what this so-called UFOs are. They don't know they are the chariots of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. How are they going to feel the first day they're going to see these chariots, man? Man, I saw these things in my dream, man. <laughs> I woke up and I was worried for the whole, for the rest of the day, man. That was in the dream. But what if I see it real life, man? So those people who don't know this truth, who are not prepared, man. People are just going to faint, man, at the sight of these things, you know? That's why this truth, you know, this book, Never let it depart from your mouth, man. This is the this is the bread of life. This is that fountain that never runs dry. You know, this is life. Yahweh Shai says, I, I, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." You know, then you have the book of John. It tells you, "In the beginning was was was, was, was the, the word, word, and the word was with, with God, word. and the word was God." That's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is this word, man. This word is the living bread. Is the way. The truth and life this is it right here and the funny thing is you know if you go into all the houses you know a good 95 percent a good no i think a good i don't want to exaggerate a good 70 percent of the people have a bible in the house but they never open this bible up they don't know what's in the bible you know they just trust in that image that they have in their house you know and this is just the ignorance that's going to destroy a lot of people man so if you don't have any other scripture maybe we should just close it up you know yeah that's it yeah, you know this just hit the point yeah the, the point has been has been heated you know so for you brothers in this truth because you know this truth is not for everyone you know just like the scripture says you know the road that leads to life is narrow and that road that leads to death is large and many are, are those who are going to get into it you know so the brothers in the truth now you know this is the time you really need to man up in the spirit you know this is the time you really need to man up in the spirit man because these days that are coming man you would need you would need <laughs> you would need the most high yahweh shem yahushai you know if not for the most high yahweh shem yahushai man we all gone man that's the scripture that says you know the elect shall be narrowly saved man we shall be narrowly saved narrowly scarcely saved, scarcely saved man so these times that are coming are really difficult times to prepare your spirit and your soul. So what will it cost you to gain the world and lose, you lose your soul? Because most of you, you're going to see these adversities, you're going to see these difficulties and you would give up. You'd let that line up, queue and go get the, 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 the Vicky Venom, you know? And go get also the MOT that's coming after it, you know? And you'll be destroyed, man. So, so would it make sense that you, 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 you line up, you get something just because you want to have bread for, for, for some months, for a couple of months, then later die, you know? So, hey, we hope this lesson was edifying, you know? We hope, you know, we, we, we actually got to the point, you know? 
He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh, Shai shall abide under the mighty, uh, shadow of the Almighty. You know, dwell in this truth, man, and you abide under the shadow of the Almighty Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh, Shai. It would never leave you. You know, those who, who, who um, those who keep the word of His patience, they will never be disgraced, man. They will never be left behind. One more scripture. Go on. One more scripture. This is Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent you therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Can repent ye, you know, so your sins shall be blotted, yeah. you know, a when, of, when the of, time of threshing. Time of threshing is just right here, man. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know what sins is all about, you know. They don't know. They think sin is just, you know, Doing whatever the Pope tells you is, is a sin. No, sin is going against the commandments of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. So if you make cuttings in your flesh, you know, to get that venom, that's a sin, man. That's a sin. If you're worshipping, if you're worshipping, um, if you're worshipping um, the, the, the white Jesus, if you're worshipping Jesus, you're committing sin, abomination, man. You know? So, hey, we hope through the spirit, this lesson was edifying. Would like to give all praises to the Most High. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. You know, on to the next one. Shalom. Shalom. Abal babal. Abal babal.